<laughs> oh, yes. Y'all and hit the bitch what they call me. Yes, I be the nigga that's fucking up on your daughter. Yes, I be. What's going on, y'all? Back again. Another episode of the week, and I'm here today. They call him Hit Up. You know what I mean? Jay Hit Up, man. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Now, I mean, we call him Lord Boy. Yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> right into it. Okay. That freestyle mixtape that you did. Yeah. And uh, I was basically paying homage because the first thing I heard, like, after maybe the first song, I was like, I kind of like got lost and I'm like, oh, this is lame. Yeah. So, I mean, that's like basically what you would do. Right, 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 right. Talk right. about that a little bit. Uh, Lock and Grove was basically, um, I got the title from, I'm from Fort Lauderdale. For sure. Uh, Wayne from Holly Grove, so I kind of like tied it in a lot of Grove. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, um, freestyling to my favorite uh, Wayne songs or his best freestyles. Yeah, you know, I got Best of Me on there, which is not his beat, but he kind of murdered the beat. Nah, that's true. So I, I jumped on, you know, once he jumped on the track, his head. So that's what I did. I got Best of Me, Dick Pleaser, um, Shine. Us the music, politicians, you know. Nearly, yeah, yeah. Nearly, yeah. Nearly, 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 nearly. Talking about like your style of like music in the sense of like, like you really, you know what I'm saying? You had like a lot of people, they rap, they, they, they freestyle here and there, but like all, most of your freestyle have that like picture that you're painting behind it. I mean, it's freestyle, you know what I'm saying? So right, about right. See, when I, like, when I write, it's like, I try to stay away from the usual. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody in, in Fort Lauderdale, or Broward County, they just talk about the same thing. I always wanted to rap and say, you know, outside of Bill Popper and Water, you feel me? What else would you know, rap be? You know what I'm saying? So I try to separate myself from the average crowd of South Boy, just I speak on myself. So the average Fort Lauderdale rap. Yeah, so when I write, I try to like be authentic, you know, give somebody that, ooh, hold on, let me back it up and make a song. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm trying to separate myself on the record. Talking about like your city, the sunlight itself, how does that like, cause you know, sunlight has birthed a good, a good amount of artists, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it had, yeah, yeah. And it had a classic song named after itself, Sunlight, yeah, yeah. and then Sunlight yeah, Music, which, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you really listen, yeah. they can't lyrical on there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, how does so that yeah. kind of like, 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 you know what I'm saying? How did the city help you or influence you to like do that? Uh, JBCB, man. And you also got one way coming out of there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out one way, man. Uh, CB, C1 and JB, man. Them boys were cool, man. Yeah, it was the old heads, like, when I was growing up. So yeah. they dropped a song, and they was real lyrical. And that, to this day, they still, like, that song, new song, that still song, bangs. Yeah, yo, that yeah. song is a classic. You play that song now. Yeah, yeah, it still do what it do, but, like, the influence they had is just, like, you know, they always kept us level. It wasn't even about rap. They just were rapping to keep everybody together. You know what I mean? But like, they always kept us level outside of rap. So um, when I was growing up, I used to like actually battle my own boys with like other people bars. Like I used to watch battle rap. And coming up, I used to watch like Cassidy and all this. Shit. So I used to we used to really watch so much battle rap to we memorize they lines and battle each other with and Cassidy them lines and shit like that. So I always had a lyrical mindset, you know, listening to those type of rappers, you know, mm-hmm. Sirius Jones, Murder Mook. I used to always watch that. You know, so that brings up my next topic. Would you, because you said, you know what I'm saying, you used to battle rap, but would you consider yourself in that realm or would you consider yourself like the hip hop artist that's gonna give you the lyrics, give you the bars, give you the freestyles, but also give you the songs too? Yeah, I definitely, I'm in both realms, I'm in really versatile. I can give you a song, with the bars in it, yeah. but like I know when you're dealing with a song, you know it's just kind of limited bars because you don't want to have people thinking too much. You know what I'm saying? So and you got to make it a full project, so you got to have it all in one uh, topic. But uh, I'm definitely versatile. I can give you, I can give you bars like I can give you a song. I give you one bar. I'm like, oh man, mm-hmm. but my freestyles is going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Who's some people that you look at to? You mentioned Cassidy, of course, Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Um, of course, you know, Sears Don't Murder Me from um, Battle Rap Man. But who else is, you know, rappers that influence you? Shit, yeah, like, when I was coming up, like, you know, everybody say the average Jay Z, Biggie, Tupac, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I ain't really, like, I know their music, I know all of them, whatever they do. But it's just, like, they, they, I was too young for them to really influence, you know, my rap. Like, right now, it's like, Meek Mill is really doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
out, even through, even outside of rap, through adversity, you know, they throw all type of negative, negativity his way. And then, like, he always overcome. Like, I done seen him down, back to flamers. I done seen him down, go to jail. And I'm surprised he always come back. He jumped back real big on yeah. What you think about the recent project he dropped? Oh, that's crazy. I just freestyled. Yeah, that's, right. that's, that's what I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I just freestyled the issues, man. I mm -hmm. fucked with that shit heavy. Yeah, the whole thing. What you think about 1942? Nah, see, that's, that's a song that I could, like, like I could really appreciate because he's really rapping. Yeah, like going yeah, in, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's on his album. Like, he's right. not like there's no verses right. in there to make it something else. He's just, even if the, he's just going spitting, you know what I'm saying? So, like, would you model a project that you would push, like, uh, put out after that? Like, because this project, I would say, to me, is one of his best ones. Nah, of he's course. not, like, yeah. trying to please anybody but his core, core audience. Exactly. I fuck with it. Like, this shit he dropped, like, he just about to say, the 1942 flows is crazy. That's, that's, that's my favorite one that's on there. That's my favorite one on there, too. Yeah, yeah, real talk. He, like, he, it's like, it's like he going back to his old self, but showing how much more mature he is, you know, you feel me? He understand that, like, you know, everybody has somebody to drink, beef and all of that, yeah. but, you know, he realized that he was just out of character, man. So even in his interviews everywhere else, he tell you he out of character, mm -hmm. and that's straight away from his real rap. So now he's back with, I mean, he, he talking right. Yeah, nah, he talking right there. Yeah, yeah. Talking yeah. right Not, um, just to touch on something that we were just talking about before, when it was like, you know, the saw making over basically, the battle rap game, kind of like, um, which one would you want? Which not want actually? Which one do you enjoy more? Would you, you enjoy just listening to a beat, catching it, and giving it straight bars, or do you enjoy building that song? You know what I'm saying? Structuring it properly and giving it that full. I enjoy it. I, I enjoy it. You know, murdering the beat. Because that's what I hear, and that's yeah, what I, that's yeah, what I, I hear. And it seems like it come natural. Yeah, too. it's easy. It's getting easy. Yeah, yeah it's easy. It's easy. It's like come very natural. Like, most freestyles. Like I just, I get in the booth and I just do it. Mm -hmm. You know, Lil Wayne is my inspiration. So a lot of times I get in the booth, I, like his documentaries on him. So I try to like do what he do. Yeah. You know what I mean, when I'm in the booth, I try to like, you know, Lil Wayne did it like this. Why I can't do it like this? I feel like I'm lyrical. I can do it just like that. But I rather, you know, just murder a beat. You know, a song. You know, it takes time. And you know, song is whatever. Whatever's catchy, that's gonna do it. Yeah. But everybody that make a song can make a freestyle that's gonna make it say, oh, it's for me. The problem with is they have that saying, every person that does a freestyle can yeah. make that hit song. But I'm here, I'm here to kill that. Okay. Because I can do both. Okay, that's right. what it is then. Yeah. Talk to you about something that somebody, um, somebody kind of like influenced you to keep you going. Because I know like doing rap on, I mean now more than ever, like South Florida has the eyes on you. Four wasn't really getting that shine, so right. you know what I'm saying? we had to work two, two, sometimes three times as hard to get right. out for and break it. So talk to me about something that, you know, different conversations you had or somebody kind of told you that gives you that experience to be pushing. Yeah, man. Uh, shout out to my team, Being Rich Matters, BRM. Label on the way. Every time I talk to them, you know, they rap too, so all of us, you know, I kind of got a little rapping from them as well. Mm -hmm. but like every day, man, we try to like, even coming up, he like, I met him in college, maybe like 2011, 2010. So like, I, I really try to like, focus on coming to like, every everybody had their own motives, you know what I'm saying? But like, our motives, we basically try to like, stay in the realm of the Coles, the Kendricks, bring back hip hop, you know what I'm saying? People are like, magnify the, the mumble rappers and the young rappers that went to jail, so now they got clout, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't bank off that. I bank off, I want to hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. If I can't understand what you're saying, I don't care how many followers or how many, what label you got. Mm -hmm. I can't listen to your music. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, don't, like, I feel like if you, if you, if you creating great substance, it's going to leave the stain, no matter if you heard or not. You know what I'm saying? So if I was to get heard by a big label tomorrow, they can always result back to my old music and say, hey, he been, he been consistent. He been doing what he doing. It ain't gonna be no oh I got one song, but I don't know what he's saying on these other songs. Yeah, my homies motivated, definitely, man. In the hood too, man. When you see people, hey, disappearing and you know, jail under, mm -hmm. so he, he, I mean, that really puts you in the level to where like, hey, this is what I gotta do to keep my head sane, and I got my boys behind me. How we do it? I just gotta keep going. Exactly how it should be. Tell them when they can find me.
Oh man, you can listen to me on uh, SoundCloud, J Jones 226, J A Y, J O N E S 226. I'm on YouTube, BRMJ Hit Up. I'm trying to, you know, like, I'm still learning how to do everything on a more professional level, so. Um, my next project probably come out holiday time. It's gonna be on all platforms, title, iTunes, maybe everything. Full album, yeah, 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 full album. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it the right way because I'm really learning more about yeah, everything. Exactly, exactly, exactly. What do you think they hit up? Oh, shit, man. People all, you know, hit up me and you tied it up. So. <laughs> yeah, my name is Johnny, so okay. I just put it together. Jay hit up. So. They used to always say, damn, you hit up. I used to get tattoos as Wayne got tattoos. So. so he was really that, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I used to really look up to him. I still do, though. It's just, it's I can't say it, bro. He's different now. He's different now. <laughs> nah, he's not. Yeah, he's different. He's still, he's still, got, he's still classic, but he's a little yeah, bit different. I don't want them guys that are going to say he's not different forever. So, mm -hmm. But he is, though. Definitely. I appreciate yeah. your time. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Jay, hit up, man. It's another episode of Delete. Stay mm -hmm. cool.